Joined on the red carpet right now uh, by the wonderful Jack Rowan. Jack, good to see you, mate. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, right, BAFTAs, this is a pretty big moment for you. It is. Up it's for the biggest one, essentially. It's crazy. Uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm constantly pinching myself all the time. So it was the first one of, of these, like, first BAFTAs I've ever been to. So yes. to actually be here and be nominated, I'm... It's beyond me. Now talk to me, Born to Kill It, it was such a huge series, so many people loved it. Why was it so special to you? Why did you want to get on board with the project? Well, it was special to me because it was the first time that anyone like took a risk on me. You know, it was the first lead role I ever got and such a, a character that, you know, although he was doing all this, all the cold stuff and this, these horrible acts, I found that I, I never judged him at any point and I just found something in the character where I was like, oh, I want to make him likeable and I think the, the opportunity to make a psychopath killer likable was, was exciting. And I'm just glad they went with me. So <laughs> Now, when you think about why they went with you, does yeah. it not marginally make you worry? <laughs> no, a, little, a little bit. <laughs> you yeah. know, a psychopath killer, how did you do it? I mean, do you have to really go into the deepest, darkest depths of your brain to get to that sort of place? Well, yeah, pretty much. But, <laughs> you know, I'd certainly in terms of the mind, I like to sit in that, you know, I sat in it all day, kind of this this dark mind but when we were actually filming I, I picked certain days where like one day I was like right he needs to be the kind of cocky schoolboy and yeah. the next day he needs to be this vulnerable kid and his mother and then another day he'd be like you know charming so I actually found ways that I could kind of play the nice guy yet in the in the deepest depth of my mind going I want to kill everybody sounds like you've got the dream job though picking and choosing who you're going to be well, on the look, day look what it's led to exactly well. exactly and listen uh, rightly so as well and uh, but tonight so it's celebrating Absolutely. a lot of TV a lot of great TV uh, what are you a fan of who are you looking around seeing tonight being like oh they're here they're well, here I mean I'm a fan of Peaky Blinders yes I, you know I had the luck to be in it as yes. well so I'm really hoping that that Peaky can win tonight um, yeah. But you know that whole category, like you know, The Crown, End of the Effing World, yes, um, Line of Duty, just just great shows, and the fact that I can be around such great company, actors, directors, everybody. You know, I'm I'm just like I said, I'm going to constantly pinch myself throughout this whole night. Is there any there any actors up there today that if you bump into, you might get a little bit starstruck? Well, do you know what? Um, I'd say Joe Cole. I never met Joe Cole, really? and I've always <laughs> like I've always liked the projects he's been in. So hopefully tonight I can meet him. <laughs> so Joe Cole, yeah. Hey, yeah. listen, I mean, there's some amazing people, uh, but something that was a huge success, obviously, once again, yeah. David Attenborough's Blue Planet 2. Oh, yes. Right? And this is what I'm challenging everyone on the red carpet oh. to do tonight. Oh, no. And I think if you've gone to Serial Killer, you can definitely oh, do oh, this. No. Right? I'm going to give you some lines, David Attenborough lines, and I want you to do your best Attenborough impression for me. Okay, okay, okay. Try. So here you go. Here's your lines. Take that one. So take your pick out of there and give it a go. Any of them. Okay, I got it. You got it? Go for it. Among its lethal tentacles lurks a man o' war fish that feeds by nibbling at them. I mean, that I was dark. Know. Very dark. dark. You picked well, the darkest one. Try. And why try. not? Because uh, I couldn't, I didn't know what this word was, and I was like, I'm not going to get a word wrong. No, I don't think anyone <laughs> knows his vocabulary. Uh, listen, Jack, congratulations Thank on you. your nomination. Best Pleasure. of luck for tonight. Thank you so much. Enjoy the show. No, this means a well. Thank See you, you later.